Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. We're back today with the last part of episode Bloody Mary by Jojo Y. Should we get started? If you haven't seen the last two parts, I'll link them up in the i button above. But basically, what's happened is three girls have accidentally summoned Bloody Mary when they were making Bloody Marys. And I have been really enjoying this. It's a nice little break from Love Island and the usual content we post, but if you are enjoying it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. I'm taking your episode requests at the moment and it will be interesting to see what you want to see on the channel. Love Island will be returning, so if you've clicked on the video to find out when it will be coming back, don't worry, it will be round the corner very soon. This is the last part of Bloody Mary by Jojo Y. Okay, this part comes with a trigger warning. This chapter has sly mentions of blood, so if that's not your thing, please feel free to turn off the video and we'll be back with some more content that might be more suitable for you in the future. Would you like me to gloss over this when it comes up? I'm gonna say no, I'll be fine for the Halloween content. Um but I'm sorry if that's not your thing. I do apologize. Got it. Now, on with the story. This is Bloody Mary. She's just realized what friends are and that she has some. You know what? I've made my decision. And that's where we had a cliffhanger last time, but she says, I'm not taking any of you with me. Huh? Did you just say you heard me correctly? You've each taught me a valuable lesson. You've shown me how to have fun. You've shown me compassion. And most importantly, you've shown me that I'm not alone. I could never repay you for what you've taught me. However, I think I can start by sparing all your lives. I know we've only known each other a short while, but I consider you ladies the closest thing I have to friends. I don't know much about having friends, but I imagine you can't just kill them. <laughs> you might want to at times, but you're right. I'm glad you consider us your friends, Mary. I can't really consider you potential victims anymore, can I? Wait a minute, does that mean you're leaving us now? No, unfortunately I must have a soul before I go. I promise not to take any of yours, but I need one. So what are you gonna do? Honestly, I'm not sure. But if you give me some time, I'm sure I'll figure something out, if you'll excuse me. Poor oh girl. But hey, at least we're safe. I think I'm gonna go check on her. Are you sure that's the best idea? She could change her mind. I don't know, but I know that she shouldn't be alone right now. I'm gonna check on her. Feel free to come along if you want. Oh, she's taller than I thought she was gonna be. I don't know if having them together is the best idea. I mean, you saw how they just poured their hearts out to each other. They'll be just fine. I think they understand each other. Who better to talk to than someone who understands how you feel? And besides, Kim's taught me off a few ledges when I was down. I'm sure she'll do the same for Mary. I guess you're right. I'm just worried about Kim, Jill. I mean, she's obviously they cry to us about Brandon, just never to that extent. Listen, hun, I know you're concerned. You have every reason to be. Look at it this way. The band-aid's finally been ripped off. All that's left for her to do is heal. And if I know Kim, she'll heal quickly. She's the strongest woman I know. I'm surprised she's held back on going off on Brandon this long. This really speaks volumes. If it were me, his you-know-what would have been ripped off and thrown in the blender long ago. Ooh, and I'd make him drink it too. Yeah, that would show him. So yeah, Kim's fine. But right now, I think we should go and check on Mary and see if she... Hello? Who's that? I have no idea. Should we check it out? I think so. What if we get killed or something? I'll push you in front of me and then I'll run for help. Now let's go. Hello? Brandon? What's taking you so long? Sorry babe, I just had to clean up in the back seat of the car. And could you keep it down please, just in case she- Never mind. In case what? Uh, in case, uh, in case the neighbours hear us. You know Gerald next door, he'll call the cops on anyone. He called the cops on a firefighter for putting out a fire once. It's never been a problem before. Well, he's been off his meds for a while and it's not pretty. So please, keep it down. Not this again, Brandon. You're still acting like I'm some secret or something. I thought we agreed you wouldn't do that anymore. You did finalize the divorce with Kimberly, right? Of course. Then why are you telling me to be quiet? Why are you always trying to hurry me into the house? Why do you always avoid me in public? Are you ashamed of me or something? Be honest with me, babe. No, of course not. Stephanie, baby, I love you so much. In fact, let me just prove it to you now. Oh my. Hello. Mmm. Is that enough? Mm-hmm. I want more. Well, let's head upstairs then. Not so fast. Hello, Brandon. Do you know them? Well, I uh, Yeah, we know Brandon. We're actually good friends of his wife, Kimberly. But I thought you said you finalized the divorce. Oh, honey. There was no divorce. The filthy pig lied to you. You mean I was your side piece this whole time? Stuff, they're crazy. They have no idea what. Enough. You've been cheating on your wife this whole time? What makes you think I want to have any part in that? 
I, you know what? Save it. You're sick, Brandon. God, I can't even deal with you right now. Daphne, get back here. I swear, I can explain. You better have a pretty good explanation for when Kim gets down here. Erica, guard the front door. I start counting your blessings, buddy. You aren't getting out of this one so easily. Thanks for coming to check on me, Kimberly. You can call me Kim, you know. Oh, sorry, my bad. Kim. But thank you again for coming to check on me. I just, I don't know what I'm going to do. I know this might sound far-fetched, but do you have any ideas? Well, actually, I was thinking about it a little bit. <laughs> Okay, I'll say Susan. You should kill this woman, Susan McGuffrey. She had the nerve to bring a pie to book club when she knew full well that Dawn can't eat gluten. Oh my god. I say it's time she gets a little payback. That's a good idea. But I don't want to take a soul of someone who hasn't summoned me. I would if I could, but even I know it's wrong to kill someone for fun. Well, then I'm really out of ideas. It's not like someone's gonna come in here and say your name three times. You're right. This is gonna be more difficult than I thought. Let's head downstairs and see if Erica or Jill can help. Oh, I can't believe him. Believe who? Uh, ghost. Ghost. Oh, Stephanie. Did she just, just crack her head open? Oh my god. Oh my god, there's so much blood. I see where the blood comes into it now. Yes, it appears so. She's so happy. She's so happy. Kim, do you know what this means? That I have to get my floors professionally cleaned? No, but I'll also take care of that. It means I have a soul. Awesome. I know I should be happy, but my poor floors. Hit the tile out myself too. Let's go tell the others. But before we do... And this is where Bloody Mary does her little chant in order to, you know, summon the dead. Because she needed that before with Jill. And here we go. What did you just do? Easy, I took her soul, evaporated her body, and even cleaned your floors. Now, let's go tell the others. Oh my god, Kimberly's quite happy for her husband's side piece just dying. Like, excuse me, just have some compassion. Give it up, Brandon. When Kim gets down here, it's all over. Right, right. And what are you gonna do, summon her? I didn't know you could teleport. I like to keep it on the down low. Oh, I... It's you. Him, baby. Jill and Erica are crazy. They're accusing me of... What's that? What is what? That ugly creature beside you. I beg your pardon. I'd watch what you call ugly, good sir. Oh yeah, what are you gonna do? Well, seeing as I just killed a cute little blonde girl not too long ago, who says I wouldn't do the same to someone much uglier? You want to talk? And you killed someone? I'm pretty sure you killed something. You smell of skunk. You don't believe me, do you? Well, how's this? Right there, in front of Brandon's eyes, was Stephanie's head? She pulled it out of thin air and displayed it like it was a trophy. His trophy was now her trophy. Except Bloody Mary wasn't attempting to hide her trophy like he was. She was proudly displaying it. Something he failed to do. Now the trophy was on display and everyone knew about it. There was no going back now. After a good few seconds, she tossed the head up in the air and it vanished. All as if it was nothing. And well, it was nothing. Nothing to Bloody Mary, at least. Brandon, however. You, you, you killed Stephanie? Who's Stephanie? That doesn't matter. She, she literally killed someone. Sure, but who? Stop asking that. She's dead. It's the girl that he's been cheating on you with, Kim. No. 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 This wasn't supposed to. Listen, I've known you don't know anything. But I know that that thing beside you killed Stephanie. That ugly, hideous, god-awful thing killed her. Watch it. I will not watch it. I hope you rot in hell. Brandon, you need to calm down. That's Brandon. You just messed with the wrong ghost, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Wait, please don't take him. If I'm not mistaken, that's Brandon. Yes. The same Brandon who cheated on you and made you feel worthless? Yes. I know it's gonna sound weird, but don't take him yet. Please, just bring him back for a few seconds. Very well. But if he tries anything, he'll regret it. Kim, you saved me, babe. I couldn't let you go. Well, what is it? It's just... Go on, babe. You can tell me anything. Okay, I wanted to tell you... Oh, I knew all about the affair. Burn in hell, you cheater. Take him away, Mary. 
Oh, I really thought she was going to give him a second chance then. Two souls in one day. This is amazing. But I've gotten what I came here for. I suppose it's time for me to go. I do have other duties to attend to, unfortunately. We understand. Do you have to go so soon? Unfortunately. But fear not. If you ever need me, you know what to do. And you know you're always welcome in this house. Thank you plenty, Kimber. Thanks, Kim. Well, it's time for me to go. I'll never forget this time we've had together. It's been the most fun I've had in centuries. Goodbye. And so it appears we've reached the end of our story. It's quite sad that Bloody Mary left our trio abruptly, but as they say, licking doorknobs is illegal on other planets. Wait, wrong life motto. What I mean to say was, that's life. And they never saw her after that. That is, until Halloween rolled around. Oh, she's a little witch. So, what do you guys think? I love her. And that's like a vampire hunter? Hey, have you always had this walk-in closet? Nope. This used to be Brandon's little gym. Once I realised he wasn't actually going to the gym, I started to make this my own little space. He never said anything about it. And well, I don't think he will have anything to say about it. I love what you did with it. So much better than a gym. Oh, me too. So cute. Uh, Erica? What exactly are you supposed to be? I'm Winnie Wu, the fiercest Asian vampire slayer from the Forever Undead comics. And what are you supposed to be? Please let her say, I'm a cat, duh. You know, because I'm a mouse, duh. I'm a cat, duh. Well, you both look great, but there's one more person who needs a costume. You know what to do. She does, she knows what to do. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Who dares summon me? Oh, hey ladies. Why did you summon me? This is a pretty random time to do so, is it not? Hey girl, we thought that maybe you'd want to come trick-or-treating with us. What or whating? Trick-or-treating. It's like going door to door and taking souls. But instead of souls, you get candy. We thought you'd want to come along. Halloween is all about spookiness and being spooky is kind of your thing. Hmm, I'd be willing to try. How do you participate? Well, first you have to wear a costume. Luckily, yours truly already had some extras. Go ahead and pick one. A lovely leopard, a soldier sweetheart, or a Miss Masquerade. It's gotta be the masquerade, right? Here she is in her masquerade costume. What do you think? I'm gonna say no so I can have a look at the other costumes. Let's try the lovely leopard. Not that short. Okay, that is really leopard-like. Um, and what's the soldier sweetheart? Okay. Well, I wouldn't say that's a costume though, is it? So maybe we go for the masquerade because I think that was probably our best bet out of the three. Very nice, very nice. Yes, I like this one. And you look great, thank you. What do we need to do now? Well, we just go door to door and say trick or treat. And then we get candy. That sounds easy enough. Wanna give it a little test run? Yes, please. Trick or treat, gotcha. Now give me some candy or I'll steal your soul. That is so cute. I loved it. What an amazing story. That was so good. That is Jojo's Instagram. If you want to go and follow them over there, Jojo's Tales. So what did you think? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. I think this was such a fun little story. I definitely think there was a lot of stereotypes in there. Maybe some of them were a bit outdated, but let me know what you think down in the comments below. I love the idea of Bloody Mary having friends, which is very wholesome. Awesome. I was expecting scary and to be honest I didn't find it very scary but you know what sometimes we need a bit of wholesome Halloween. If you enjoyed this episode and want me to play more episodes let me know what they should be down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching everyone it means the world to me I really appreciate all of you. If you did enjoy this video please give it a like, subscribe if you want to see more and turn on that notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload a video and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!